Hello guys, this is Devlin Duldulao, Samarin Certified Mobile Developer and MCSD. Today we're going to uh, uh, talk about uh, libraries that you can use in your uh, Samarin development. So, I'm um, going to show you what I use in my Samarin development. You know, I'm a lazy um, developer. If I can find an existing component and then or library to do what I want, I'll use it. So first, we have a uh, connectivity here. So um, you know, connectivity is a simple cross-platform plugin to check connection status of mobile device, gather connection type, bandwidths, and more. The next one is we have uh, FF uh, image loading. Uh, this is a library to load images quickly and easily on Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Android, and Xamarin Forms. And features of uh, this library it has um, uh, error and loading placeholder support. You can render SVG. Uh, image uh, SVG format images fade in animations it, um, and it's a lot more you know uh, just uh, check this out next one we have settings settings create and access settings from shared code across all of your apps And the next is we have um, PCL file uh, storage. PCL storage provides a consistent, portable set of local file I/O APIs for .NET, uh, Windows, UWP, uh, Summer in iOS, Summer in Android. You know. This makes it uh, easier to create cross-platform .NET libraries and apps. We also have uh, ACR uh, user dialogues. It is uh, one of my favorites. It's a cross platform library that allows you to call for standard user dialogues from shared or portable library. It supports uh, Summer in Android, iOS, and Summer in Forms. Hmm. So uh, the features are, let's say, uh, loading uh, progress. It has those prompt, you know, action sheet. It's a lot more. Better check this out. Next, um, we have Lodi. If you are working with the uh, designers or throwing After Effects animation at you, or if you just want to spice up your UI, have a look at this uh, library. Next, we have uh, Iconize. Now, Iconize provides a nice, easy way to integrate font libraries like Font Awesome into your applications. Using this will help you keep your file sizes down and provide images that scale nicely. And last but not the least, we have RG plugins pop-up. If you want to create pop-ups in your app, this is a really nice approach. So uh, there you have it. Uh, libraries that you can use in developing your uh, Xamarin applications. See you in my next video guys. Peace out.